man wielding a machete cut a police dog and swung at an officer before officers shot and killed him in City Heights. But tonight, the 21-year-old's family says it was police who provoked the situation, leading to an unnecessary tragedy. San Diego 6's Derek Stahl examines the man's troubled past. This YouTube video from last year shows 21-year-old Jamalo Day roughhousing with his brothers. Family members say a fight between brothers Sunday night ended with this. I'm really heartbroken, his sister told me off camera in Burmese. Police say they arrived to find Day holding a knife and a stick around 10.30 p.m. and he wouldn't comply with commands. He knows a little bit of English, but not very much. Wendy Galernter met the family while working at a refugee assistance organization and has stayed in touch ever since. She says Day had a history of mental illness and was placed under a psychiatric hold by police at least twice. Court documents show Day was also arrested for threatening his brother with a knife in 2013, and there were questions about his mental competency. We don't understand why there wasn't a psychiatric professional somehow involved to try to calm him down and so that he would understand that no one was going to hurt him, that if he came out and dropped the knife, that it would be okay. But that didn't happen. Police say the 21-year-old continued making threats and grabbed a machete. Officers broke the door and tried using a taser and a police dog. They say the man hit the dog with the machete, then swung at an officer, which is when they opened fire. The entire family was outside the apartment. They were all safe and unharmed. Why was it necessary to move so rapidly and to, to create a, system, a situation where he felt cornered and frightened and kind of most likely to act out violently. The canine was taken here to this animal hospital in Mission Valley. Vets tell me its injuries were relatively minor. They put staples in its back and the dog was released. Family members tell me they feel responsible for Jama Lode's death, not because of the fight that set him off, but because they called police. Derek Stahl, San Diego 6 News.